have got a, a deep burden to see a fulfillment of the cry upon the heart of Jesus, where he said, the harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray to the Lord of the harvest that he could send forth laborers into his harvest fields. If you no wish for others to be saved, then you're not saved yourself. Be sure of that. Um, what's your name? Uh, Patrick. Patrick. My name is Patrick. Patrick. Okay, Patrick. What do you think happens when people die? Your opinion. Um, um, I, I believe about the I, I believe about what the Bible says. The Bible says that uh, uh, after death comes the judgment. So I believe that you know uh, after people die, they get judged for whatever uh, uh, things they have done on earth. So that's what I believe. Okay, awesome. Um, so I got three minutes. I got a knife in my back. Can you tell me how do I go to heaven? Uh, you have three minutes and you have a knife. My back. I, I'm, I'm dying. How do I go, get to, into heaven? Uh, yeah, I believe that uh, uh, it's nothing we can do uh, that can buy our way to heaven. I don't believe that there's something that a man or human can do to buy their way to heaven. But I think uh, uh, for someone that is dying, the best way to open the way it's just to cry to God. That's what I believe. So I just need to cry to God and God would save me? I mean, uh, if you cry with your heart, I believe that God will save you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so that's all I need to do, just cry to God and he... he and yeah, just confess your sin and just cry to him. You know, tell him how you feel. Uh, tell him... You know that you need me on that in that particular moment and he will answer you he will he will be there for you okay um can i put you in the test are you do you believe you're going to heaven um i believe that god loved me i believe that god want me to go to heaven but if i know if i'm qualified to go to heaven i would say no only god knows that but uh, only god knows that so if you died right now you're not sure you'll go to heaven if I die now, I just gonna do what I do, cry to God, and hope that He answer me. So I wanna stop right here real quickly and address something. Um, as Patrick, he says that he's not sure. And then there's a lot of Christians that are out there in their walk and they're not sure that they're going to heaven. Does the Bible leave us oblivious or not knowing or in this like middle ground, not sure? Should we not be sure? of our salvation here's what the scripture says first John 5 13 these things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God that you may know that you have eternal life and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God first John chapter 4 verse 17 love has been perfected among us in this that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is so are we in this world first john 3 20 for if our hearts condemn us god is greater than our hearts and know all things beloved if our hearts does not condemn us we have confidence towards god so the scripture constantly tells us that we can know that we can be assured of our salvation. I will leave a couple of message down below, some links that are very powerful, that talk about the assurance we should have as Christians, a sermon with more depths. But this is all for now, and let's continue with the interview. Okay, can I, can, would you believe me if, if I tell you there was, there's a for sure way you know you can go to heaven right now? Uh, 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 say the question again. If I told you there was a for sure way to go to heaven, would you be interested to know? Uh, yes. yes. Uh, so what I want to do, I want to put you in the hot seat. I know we're hot already. The sun is burning us yeah, right now. I want to put you on the hot seat to see if you're going to go to heaven. All right? I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Okay. You think you could take it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Have you ever told a lie before in your life? Yes. What do you call someone who tells lies? Sinner. Something more specific? Uh, liar. Have you ever put, um, put God's name in vain before? 
Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay. You know when you do that, it's called? Uh, 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 blasphemy. Yeah. Have you ever stolen anything in your life? Downloaded music from the internet or cheated on the test or? Yes. Okay. I did. What do you call someone who steals? Uh, a thief. Okay. It, it says do not commit adultery, but Jesus said if you look at a woman with lust, you've committed adultery in your heart. Have you ever looked with lust before? Yes, I did. That's scripture, yeah. Yeah. So if God, if we, um, um, once again, Patrick? Yes. Patrick, if God judges you by the Ten Commandments, and we looked at four, would you be innocent or guilty before God? Guilty. Heaven or hell? Hell. Now, is, does it concern you if you died right now, God will give you justice and send you to hell? Um, uh, ask the question again. Does it concern you if you died right now and God judges you through those Ten Commandments, you will be going to hell? Uh, I don't think I, I, I don't think that's something that I can just answer to you. But uh, uh, the way me the way I live my life is like I don't I don't I don't have a particular time to to speak to God. As I'm speaking to you, I yeah. speak to God. You know because uh, I believe that in a person there is a spirit. Mm -hmm. So as I'm speaking to you, my heart is praying at the same time. So it's possible for someone to 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 express, uh, uh, to to show everything that he wants to show physically, but at the same time also praying spiritually. So uh, the question you just asked me uh, uh, is a tricky question. It's not the kind of question that I can just answer like that because. So if you, as you, as you saw the Ten Commandments, may believe you're standing before God and He judges you those Ten Commandments and you're guilty. You said you would be going to hell. Yes. Okay. And you said you would be concerned, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. Do you know what God did for you so he, you wouldn't have to be go to hell? You don't... He died for me. Okay. Can you give me the legal implications? What does that mean? Uh, it means that uh, uh, my sins are forgiven. You know, if, if I confess that he's my Lord and Savior, that he died for me, he came for me, and he rose from the grave after three days. If I confess that with my mouth and believe with my heart, he, he would save me. Why did you tell me that? I only had three minutes to live. Uh, you told me to cry out to God. Yeah, be, because, I mean, uh, uh, um, sometimes we just, we just like to follow what the scripture says. Like, you know, people will say that you just have to say, uh, I believe that God is, uh, Jesus is my Lord and Savior and stuff. But sometimes you just have to follow your heart. You just have to say whatever you want to say to God at that particular moment. You know, uh, because for me, I believe that faith is not imitation. You don't have to imitate exactly what happened in the scripture, but you just have to follow your heart. That's what I believe. So, like when I went through the Ten Commandments with you, we saw, like, if I, when I went through, when they went, went through, through me, I realized that I've sinned against God. Yeah. I've broken His law. And if God judges me, I would be going to hell. I'm guilty. Yeah. Guilty as charged. But 2,000 years ago, like you said, God sent forth His Son, born of a virgin. He lived a perfect life. And God said, instead of God crushing you and crushing, crushing you and crushing me, yeah. He crushed His Son in our place. So now God can let, in His court, He can let us go. It's like we're in court. If we broke the law, the judge, if someone pays our fine, the yeah. judge can let us go. That's true. That's so, um, so have you done that? You've, have you repented and trust in Jesus? Uh, yes, I, I, I mean, I do that. Uh, I mean, I'm a sinner. So every time we sin, we don't even know. Sometimes we sin, we don't even remember what we sin about. Yeah. So I, I just believe that, you know, it, it has to do with your heart. You have to do with your heart. Yes, I sinned before. Yeah, but I repented before. But I don't think my 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 repentance is 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 something that saves you. I, yeah. So who saves you? God, Jesus Christ. Amen. My belief in Jesus Christ saved me. Yeah. Okay. All right. And, and you and you're a Christian. You believe, uh, you're born again Christian? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Um, do you go out of your way to share your faith with strangers? Uh, no, no usually, no usually. I don't usually do that. Do you believe there's a hell? Yes, I believe that there's a hell. Yeah. What stops you from going out of your way to share your faith with people you don't know, stranger? Uh, um, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe because I didn't, I didn't think about. I, I, didn't, I, I see that now that is important as you asked me the question, but I never thought about it that much, you know, that long. 
But what stops you from going out of your way to share your faith with somebody? What's that one thing you can think of that, that stops you? Mm. Uh, I think it, it, it has to do of uh, it has to do something with the way people gonna see me. Oh, okay. It has to do something with the way people gonna uh, respond to me. Yeah. So is it fear? Um, yeah, I would see that as a fear. Yeah. Okay. Um, would you share your faith with people if someone paid you a thousand dollars to go out of your way and share your faith? Would it be easier? Hmm. Honestly, um, if I said, look, I'm going to pay you $1,000 for each person you share your faith with, would it be easier to share your faith? Mm, you want me, I mean, you know, obviously a normal human person, we, we say yes. Yeah. yeah but, but me personally. Yeah, I see. I saw you hesitated on the question. Why was that? Uh, I hesitated the question because uh, most people. You know, this interview is, is I, I try to, an, to answer, to do my best to Amen. answer yeah. as, a, as a man level, yeah. you know, like a, what a normal person would do. Mm -hmm. So I just don't want to go too much on what I would do myself. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, I think if you give money to someone to preach the gospel, he will show more, you know, more interest to, to, to that, yeah. Yeah, and so if I was getting paid a thousand dollars to share my faith, I would try to share my faith to that's twenty good. people a day. I would have twenty thousand dollars in the bank, and I would be woo. I agree with that. But you, you know what's crazy? Mm -hmm. That sometimes some people, it's easier to share their faith when you pay money, but they they do it for the love of money, but they won't do it for the love of God. That's true. See? That's true. Amen. Yo, thank you so much for this interview. Yeah, no God problem. bless you, brother. No I really enjoyed this conversation and I praise God and His sovereignty that I had an interaction with this um, brother named Patrick, um, my brother from Cameroon, you know, praise God that we met that day and um, we dialogue and I pray that even to this day, if Patrick, you're out there, you're thinking about these things still and growing closer to the Lord. Now I want to end this with these questions. Do you go out of your way to share your faith with strangers? No? Not passing the track? Nothing? Do you believe in hell? Yes? What stops you from sharing your faith with strangers? It's fear. The fear of man. What will help you overcome the fear of man? If I gave you a thousand dollars to share each person, to each person the gospel, would that overcome your fear of man? It's sad that we can share our faith for the love of money and not do it for the love of God. Let's um, um, reevaluate -eval ourselves when it comes to the this area, this cold spider web area of our lives called evangelism. It's dead and we got to admit it and we got to do something about it. So um, I thank you guys so much. Hopefully this was encouraging, convicting, and this will move and stir upon your hearts. And I thank God for Ray Comfort. I extracted some of these questions from one of his um, shows. And yeah, um, remember, take notes. And I love you brothers in Christ. Glory to God. And thank you so much for joining your brother. God bless. I once was lost in darkest night, yet thought I knew the way, the sin that promised joy and life had led me to.